Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel Dr. Srinivas Medical Concepts and my FB page Dr. Srinivas Concepts. This is Dr. Srinivas, Neurophysician from Rajmandri, Andhra Pradesh, India. I am also the medical author of the book Focus Neurology and Exam Oriented Clinical Neurology. My email is 3klpm at gmail.com. Today we are going to talk about a very very interesting and fascinating topic the mirror movements and peculiarities of the upper motor neurons. The mirror movements and the peculiarities of upper motor neurons. Concepts of motor system part 8. Peculiarities of upper motor neuron lesions. Upper motor neuron lesions are characterized by certain peculiarities of retained movements. For example, automatisms or synkinesias. In this phenomenon, there is activation of paralyzed muscles as parts of certain automatisms. For example, the paralyzed arm may move suddenly during yawning and stretching. So automatisms or synkinesias. In this phenomenon, there is activation of paralyzed muscles as part of certain automatisms. For example, the paralyzed arm which, is, which cannot be moved may suddenly move during yawning or stretching. So this is automatisms or synkinesias. Next we have another interesting phenomenon, associated movements. Attempts by the patient to move hemiplegic limbs may also result in a variety of associated movements. Thus the flexion of the arm may result in involuntary pronation and flexion or in dorsiflexion and eversion of the foot. So these are known as the associated movements. Attempts by the patient to move the hemiplegic limbs may also result in a variety of associated movements. Example flexion of the arm may result in involuntary pronation and flexion or in <coughs> dorsiflexion and eversion of the foot. Next is the most fascinating topic, the mirror movements. So it is one of the peculiarities of upper motor neuron lesions, the mirror movements. What exactly is mirror movements? When a person tries to move one upper limb, the other upper limb also moves automatically and assumes the same position as the other limb. So these are known as the mirror movements. For example, when I try to comb my hair with one hand, the other hand also goes up automatically. So these are known as mirror movements. So mirror movements are olistral movements of the paratic limb often evoke imitative or mirror movements in the normal one or vice versa. So volitional movements of the paratic limb often evoke imitative mirror movements in the normal one or vice versa. Mirror movements are also a feature of Parkinson's disease and lesions in the upper cervical spinal cord. But why exactly do they occur? It is because at the level of the medulla oblongata the corticospinal tract crosses. So there may be 80 to 90 percent of the fibers cross but about 10 to 20 of the percent of the fibers do not cross. So at the level of the medulla oblongata where the crossing of the corticospinal tract occurs there may be epileptic connection between crossed corticospinal tract and uncrossed corticospinal tract resulting in these types of peculiar movements the mirror movements. So uncrossed fibers in the corticospinal tract account for mirror movements that are seen during efforts at fine motor tasks particularly in children and in also some disorders of the nervous system such as Klippelfil syndrome and the Kalman syndrome thought to be due to epileptic transmission between crossed and uncrossed fibers in the corticospinal tract. Uh, persons who have mirror movements find performing a task which require uh, the alternate usage of limbs very very difficult. For example, climbing the ladder. When one has to climb the ladder, one has to use the alternate limbs. One upper limb, hold it, then another upper limb, slightly higher, hold it, then release it and then use the other upper limb. So we use alternate movements of upper limbs for climbing the ladder. For climbing the ladder. In persons who have these mirror movements due to medulla oblongata cervical cord lesions, 
because of epileptic transmission between uncrossed and cord crossed corticospinal tract lesions when they put one arm on the ladder the other hand the other arm also goes automatically to the la ladder and therefore they cannot climb the ladder we generally put one upper limb then the other upper limb then the other upper limb and then start climbing the ladder but here when they use the upper limb once the other upper limb also comes up at the same time and therefore they find climbing the ladder very very difficult so the tasks which require the alternate usage of limbs they find it very difficult in persons who have mirror movements so mirror movements are very very interesting phenomenon a peculiar phenomenon seen in upper motor neuron lesions so these are all the peculiarities of upper motor neuron lesions so we the automatisms or synkinesias the associated movements and the mirror movements so these are the peculiarities of the upper motor neuron lesions all the important concepts like history taking general examination neurologic examination hemiplegia paraplegia all the exam oriented clinical neurology topics i have put in a book called exam oriented clinical neurology published by white army if interested this book could be bought the other book i have published is the focus uh, i got published is the focus neurology written by me dr s srinivas this book contains all the important information all the important concepts of neurology in a question and answer format so this will be very useful for students especially for orals this book is available online from all leading booksellers booksellers including amazon so if interested this book could be purchased online i hope you have enjoyed listening to this wonderful topic mirror movements and the peculiarities of upper motor neuron lesions if you have really enjoyed please like it share the link but please subscribe my youtube channel dr sinwas medical concepts and my vph dr sinwas concepts thank you bye